Hi, my name is Hannah McGregor. I am a PhD candidate with the University of British Columbia. Hi, my name is Evan Bowen. I'm a postdoc fellow with BC Cancer Research Center. Today we're going to talk to you about a recent review paper we wrote along with Dr. Michael Short and Dr. Haishan Zhang titled Clinical Utility of Raman Spectroscopy, Current Applications and Ongoing Developments. This paper provides an introduction into Raman theory and technology behind Raman spectroscopy for non-specialists interested in its clinical uses. So when an electron interacts with the external excitation, the electron changes energy and move from ground state to an elevated energy state. Eventually, it releases its energy and the energy change is able to be measured to identify different chemical bonds. In clinical Raman spectroscopy, we shine laser light onto the tissue and the energy state can show the presence or absence of specific bond molecules which are clinically relevant. Raman spectroscopy based instruments have been developed for a wide variety of clinical applications. However, a significant number of recently reported clinical systems, including technologies from our own lab, are geared towards oncology applications. Specifically, the main clinical use of Raman spectroscopy is for the classification of tissue types or to find tumor tissue margins during surgery. There have been studies that demonstrated the successful use of Raman spectroscopy to classify different lesions for skin cancer, lung cancer, colorectal cancer, oral cancer, and many more. For example, our group have shown in a large-scale clinical study that cancerous skin lesions are able to be differentiated against other types of pigmented lesions. In summary, we have provided a review of the theory behind the Raman spectroscopy and its clinical utility, especially its use in the detection of early cancer. We hope you will enjoy our paper and we will be glad to answer any of the questions you may have.